The median home value in thousands of dollars for Connecticut is given in the table. Find an equation for a model of these data. Again, the first thing we should do is look at the data. I'll have T represent the years since 2000. Now let V of T represent the median home value in thousands. of dollars. All right, so now let's look at our data on the calculator. All right, let me clear out some old stuff here. Stat edit. Let's clear out the old list. All right, so we would have 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. 267, 299, 307, uh, what is it? 301 and 279. 301 and 279. Alright, so let's set a window uh, 0 to 10 on the x-axis by 1s. Now on the y-axis, um, I don't know, how about 250 to 320? And we'll use a scale of 10s there. All right, so let's look at the graph of the data, or the plot of the data, and we do see a um, roughly quadratic look to it. It looks like a parabola, and it looks like the point 6307 is the vertex. So I'm going to start by saying that V of T is equal to A by T minus 6 squared plus 307. Now we need to find another point to go through. I'm just going to go ahead and use the point, uh, this, this point here, 5, 299. So I'm going to use 5, 299 to solve for A. So then 299 would equal A by 5 minus 6 squared plus 307. So 299 would equal A times negative 1 squared plus 307. 299 would equal, well, negative 1 squared is 1. So 1 times A is A. A plus 307. Subtract the 307 and A is negative 8. So putting that all together to revise the model, V of T is negative 8 by t minus 6 squared plus 307. Let's check that. y equals negative 8 by x minus 6 squared oops, plus 307. Let's see if that's a reasonable model. That looks pretty good. Using your model, estimate the median home value in, for Connecticut in 2009. Well, 2009 means that T is equal to 9, and so we'd have V of 9 is negative 8 by 9 minus 6 squared plus 307. I'll use the calculator here. So negative 8 by 9 minus 6 square plus 307 is 235. So the median home value for Connecticut in 2009 was about 235,000 dollars. Give a reasonable domain and range for this model. Well, we know our data po points are good and our model fits the data points well. 
we don't want to go too far outside the data points. So the domain, I would say let's go no further than one to either side of the data. So I would go from three to nine for the domain. Now for the range, we know that when uh, when t is 9, we have a value of 235, and our maximum is at 307. So for the range, I would go from 235 to 307.